Riverview Educate Together, like many schools, has a cycle bus. But staggered drop-offs this year makes it harder to operate. And so do the local roads. But my cycle to school uh, comes through Crumlin Village, which is a, a very tight and, and dangerous journey. And we try to cycle as often as we can, but you know we're, we're, we can't, we're always under a bit of risk when we're cycling on the roads. The Department of Education is asking schools to promote cycling as a way to reduce the risk from COVID. But the principal here says she cannot. I really think that children should be cycling to school. I think it's an arm part of childhood and I think it's something that children should experience. But the reality is that we don't have the infrastructure, that it's not actually safe for children to be on the road. One teacher does cycle out from the city centre with her children. And honestly, I have to not think about the risk too much and just think about all the benefits that they're getting. And they're cycling 13 kilometres a day, they're getting lots of exercise, um, it's great fun. South Dublin County Council says it helped parents to set up the bike bus and points out there are non-segregated cycle lanes in the area. Parents say the bike bus is more of a symptom of than a solution to the problem of risky roads. We all want to cycle and we're doing it together but we feel a certain responsibility because we're encouraging them so it's nerve-wracking. The children do enjoy the cycling. It's a nice um, time where you get to sit down at the same time you're having exercise. South Dublin County Council says it is at the early stages of developing a plan called Cycle South Dublin. Parents and staff at Riverview want safe cycle routes now and point to other councils who are moving faster. Coleman O'Sullivan, RTE News.